getting to know you, getting to know all about you. You know, in, in, in 19, fall of 63, this place was pretty small and pretty Darwinian. We, uh, mm. we really, everybody kind of knew everybody else, especially if you were in the Corps. And even then, everybody had to be in the Corps for two years unless you had some kind of exemption. The law changed in the spring of 63, but it wasn't non-compulsory Corps until the fall of 65. That's correct. And so, you know, we all had a sort of a common bond and experience and, and knew almost everybody uh, on the campus. Yeah. Our sophomore year, uh, there were four things that happened here at A&M, any one of which would have been traumatic at other universities. but. The name was changed from the Agricultural Mechanical College of Texas to Texas A&M University. Uh, they made the Corps of Cadets non-compulsory your junior and senior year. They admitted women and they admitted African Americans. And in 2014, the Association of Former Students did a, uh, uh, had a little panel discussion that they wrote an article about because it was the 50th anniversary of, of all this taking place. And they invited one of the original 12 women that were in that class uh, one of the African Americans that was in that first group, and they in, it invited a, uh, a current African American and a current female student, and a student that was here at the time in the Corps, and that was me. And they had allotted about 45 minutes for this panel discussion for them to ask questions and put the article together. Three and a half hours later, that session was over, and the most interesting part about it was that the, we asked the, the lady that was in that original class what was her most difficult adjustment in coming to, to A&M, and she said right away, without even hesitation, she said bathrooms. She said there was one bathroom <coughs> on the campus for women, and it was in the academic building. And fortunately, her classes were close to that. But they have in the, in the back of the Aggie Land, of 1964 Aggie Land, the pictures of those women are in the, in, in a, there are 12 of them, and they're in the shape of a question mark. <laughs> now, you think that's an editorial? Yeah. <laughs> that's true. I, you know, and that's, an, that's a good point. You know, I, would, I would encourage our classmates who haven't come back in a long time to come back and see what's happened here from the days you're talking about. We had maybe 8,500 students, and now there's 60,000 here. I think last year, Eddie Joe can probably address it, I think last year we were the second largest university in the nation by student population. Wow. And it's, it's incredible growth, and what's, what they're doing on this campus is incredible. So yeah. people who haven't been back in a long time need to come well, see what's going on. They'll, they'll need a GPS, and a, a exactly. <laughs> it's amazing. It, yeah, it is amazing. Be lost. You know, I've had the privilege of living here off and on most of my adult life, so I've seen the change sort of gradually. But when you come back after you haven't yeah. been here for a while, it, it will it'll blow your mind. Yeah. Uh, it's it's quite a. I mean, my my description's always been in 1963. It was in black and white. Uh, now it's in full technical. Uh, that's my, uh, I, when I think about it, it's black and white. It's not even in color. It's so grim. It was kind of grim, uh, let's so face it. Grim. And uh, I remember when I first got here, my dad dropped me off, and I, when I walked into the dorm, there was a guy coming out with his suitcase. <laughs> He'd gotten there a few hours ahead of me, and he was leaving and going to, ba <laughs> going to Baylor. Yeah, anywhere else. Yeah. Anywhere else. Yeah. Uh, the big thing is, that these guys won't believe it. they haven't been back. There's a Starbucks on <laughs> the quad. That's what you told me. <laughs> so, you know, things have changed. They need to see that. They haven't yeah. been here. Yeah. But, yeah. but the spirit and the enthusiasm of these students are just incredible. Um, and, and we've got to do everything we can to, to, to keep that foremost in, in, their, in, their, in their hearts. Well, another comment, too, is it, it might surprise many people that watch the video that there wasn't a hundred percent agreement on the admission of women. And in fact, we should have known with the mothers clubs who were always the, the most vocal emotional supporters of A&M, that women would come here and take on the traditions and the values yeah. of the place just like the men. And it's been overwhelmingly that way. Yeah. So, you know, it's just been a tremendous yeah. uh, decision to, to do what they did, which was courageous it in was. those days because it was an all male place.